I'm going to take a moment to show something that I just recently found out about, and that's called the feature preview inside of Factory Talk Optics and Op Optics Studio. And feature, feature preview is basically like a beta release for what will probably be coming out in the next release of Optics. So first I want to say I'm using version 1.3. And if I go back to the Factory Talk Hub and I go to the Optics, you know, if I'm at the Factory Talk Hub, and I click on optics, uh, we see that their latest release is version 1.3.0.968. It was released on the December 22nd, 2023. So that is the latest release. Um, when you're here at the at this, you know, at the hub and the Factory Talk Optics page, you can also see the uh, the, the the whole, you know, all the previous releases. So 1.2, 1.1, and their um, you know, when they were updated there. So it's like they have done some updates to the previous versions here. So you can download any version you want, previous version or the latest version. Um, so I am using the PC version, you know, of, of Studio. So uh, back on my desktop and uh, just to show it is 1.3. Um, so I want to first say that if you are curious into what actually is uh, in the the release if you clicked on the question mark there we come up here and we, we we open up the the help file for optics studio and we have a release notes button there so anything on our release notes this is all about the latest version that's installed on my computer 1.3 so system requirements are here but system features are here too so things that are new that have been uh add it to version 1.3 are listed here. So there were a few things um, of interest. Uh, they have some new push button uh, types, a toggle momentary and a delay type push button. So, you know, usually, uh, you know, our, a lot of our users are used to like panel view days where, you know, you had a momentary push button, you had a, a toggle push button. So they, they've added those, those type of push buttons here into optics in this release. Um, another thing that got added of interest is a sparkline object. Um, so we can actually, you know, you can add a sparkline uh, here on the screen. So, you know, this this uh, list here is all the things that got added in 1.3. Not going to quite go through all these things right now. Um, the uh, other thing is under application notes, we see that uh, there was feature preview kind of down here. And it says feature preview that these are uh, that you know features labeled as preview should not be used in a production environment. Feature preview includes feature pre uh, preview includes. So here are all the things that they're featuring in this 1.3 release. So um, there is a uh, some improvements to the R Ethernet IP communication driver. Uh, there's a um, some uh, IP tag importer able to handle uh, add-on instruction uh, tags better online. Um, but what I want to look at here today is the microcontroller driver. This is going to allow us to connect a Micro 800 or the MicroLogix 1400 through either Ethernet or serial. Now, up to this point, and even here in, the, in this 1.3 release, if I wanted to use FactorTalk Optics with a Micro 800 or a MicroLogix 1400, I would have to use Modbus TCP or Modbus RTU. And I have done a video previously that kind of showed how to connect that. So back in Optics Studio, the other thing I want to show here is before we get too far down the line is that we do have to enable the feature preview. So if that is not enabled already in your studio, you have to come up here to the to the gear symbol, click on Factor Talk Optic Studio Options, and the window opens up over there in the other screen. So here are my options. So there is a checkbox for Show Feature Previews. So that box needs to be checked. Um, if it's not checked, check it, and then when you when you close that window, it's going to force you to restart Optic Studio, and then you'll be ready to to go. So I don't have anything happening right now. Um, in in a previous uh, video, I had um, created a, a micro 850 simulator project where I was did a little 
full adder to kind of take two binary numbers and add them together just to more to show the user defined function block capability. So I'm going to go ahead and use that program again. And I have my micro 800 simulator up and running right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just minimize that. Uh, uh, well, before I do that, I should show you that there are um, so there are controller variables in here. There are, of course, the the uh, embedded I/O tags. There are also two tags that I created: one called input one and input two, and these are both basically integer values. So uh, we're getting some data right now from the micro, from the uh, simulator. So back at the optics, I'm going to first configure the driver to connect to the Micro 800 simulator. So I'm going to click on the uh, there on the dashboard, click on the on the wizard, and I'm going to say new station. Now, being that the feature preview is enabled, there is this selection here for microcontroller station. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And the, the option here is that I can choose either Micro 800 or Micro Logics 1400. I'm gonna stick with the Micro 800 and give it an IP address. And the IP address is the IP address of the emulator, which is tied to my uh, loopback IP. And then I can give it a name. And I'm gonna go ahead and rename it to Micro 850 Sim. I'm going to say next. So just like before with any other communication driver, I now have the ability to uh, import the tags. Uh, and, and the nice thing about being that it, since it's a Rockwell uh, driver, Rockwell product, I do have the option to do an online import. Now, one of the things I've noticed here just playing with it is that there is not a uh, select all button. So uh, one kind of workaround I just I've found is if I click that first one and then scroll to the bottom and do a shift click, then it kind of highlights all and I can basically select them all that way. And uh, it has successfully imported and I'll say exit. So now we come back here to com drivers, we see our microcontroller, micro 850 sim, and here are the tags, input one and input two, and then all my embedded IO tags. All right, um, so I've already kind of had pre-created a screen here and I had two sliders uh, or linear gauges basically. Uh, one is tied to input one and one is tied to input two. And I also went ahead and created two spark lines just to see how they kind of work. So uh, put spark line one tied to input one, and of course spark line two to input two. And the idea of this little program I created in a, another video was I just I I was using the micro eight hundred to basically create a to do boolean uh, math boolean addition, or I should say binary addition. Um, with a full adder circuit. So basically input one will represent the input, you know, input one binary number, four bit number, and then uh, input two is a four bit, essentially a four bit number. And out of the adder will be the binary representation of that. So for instance, and let me go ahead and, um, uh, uh, so, so let me go ahead and Put this since I got everything tied here ahead of time. Let me go ahead and create the emulator uh, window so you can actually watch this work for real. So, essentially, you know, that was it. We're tied to the micro 800 simulator. I'm looking at live data from my, from my micro 800 simulator. I see here I got outputs uh, one and two are on, and that basically represents these right here. If I take that one down, we see. Uh, output one is on and it's lit up here as well. So this was again a simple thing where you know this was a one and that's the binary one two binary two <clears throat> three binary three four 
binary four, right? And then if I were to take uh, input two and add it, well, one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Two plus two is four. So, and we could see that it's lighting up here, it's lighting up there. So basically just showing you that, uh, that you know, it works. The, uh, what I like about this, and I think it's really nice is, and interesting is that, you know, anybody can really get started with optics and an actual real ladder logic or function block programming and a real controller completely for free because we can download Factor Talk Optics Studio completely for free and unlicensed for the desktop version. And we can run this emulator and we can download Kinetic Components Workbench standard edition for the micro 800s completely for free. And you can run this micro 800 simulator. You don't have to have any hardware. You don't have to purchase any software licenses. So I think that's really pretty interesting um, that, you know, there's really no barrier to at least kind of playing around with with the technology here and kind of learning optics as well as tying it to an actual real controller, so to speak, or an emulated controller to actually, you know, simulate real industrial control applications. Now, once again, this is a preview version, so I'm not going to tell you that we can use a micro 800 in a production environment. Um, basically, you know, it's beta, so it's it's not 100% ready to go. It's great for testing. It's great for kind of playing in the lab. It's great for learning. And then in, in a future release, uh, hopefully version 1.4 release, we'll have the ability to connect to a micro 800, you know, in a true production environment. So just uh, thought this was kind of interesting. Wanted to show it. Um, so uh, enjoy. Have fun.